gonna stay okay it's gonna stay hi guys it's jazzy ray here and i'm back for another reading um so today i'm gonna be reading for derek um derek i went to school with derek um it's been a while since i've seen you i hope things are going well for you i'm gonna need for this wind to stop matter of fact hold on let's see we're not about to we're not about to do this okay um, if you guys like your charts read, um, hit me up, everything, to contact me, my social media, my emails down there. I'm going to need for this wind to stop playing with me. Um, this is the final week that the readings will be free because I'm posting prices at the end of the week. So if you do want free readings, this is the last week to like get your free reading. And then if I film it next week, no, you do not. I'll, I'll cover that in the video, but this is the last week is going to be free. So get them now while it's free. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So I'm about to show you your chart. Actually, before I show you your chart, you asked me what a birth chart was, because I don't even think you know what it is. A birth chart is basically a collection of planets, and it tells a lot about you as a person. Because some people tend to go by their sign. They tend to judge people according to their sign. And you can't do that because you have to have a chart. You have to know their chart. That's how you determine how they are as people. Now, I'm only going to focus on Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, and Mars and Ascendant. Because to me, those are the only ones that really matter. <laughs> but, and two, I'm still trying to figure out the other planets. So, I'll do those readings later on. But right now, we're just focusing on the basics. So I'm going to show you your chart. And this is your chart. So your chart. Um, your sun is Capricorn. Your moon is Leo. Your Mercury and Venus is Capricorn. Your Mars is Aquarius. And your ascendant or rising sign is Aries. And if we look over here, this is your masculine energy and your feminine. And don't mind my nails feminine energy right here so I will cover that cover that at the end so don't trip I got you all right so let's discuss the Sun sign so the Sun sign is your personality is who you are it's your Sun sign and you are a Capricorn so Capricorn is a feminine sign okay it's a feminine sign it's an earth it has the element of earth which means like grounded more earthly you know more realistic um its quality is cardinal so i'm going to explain this you have fixed quality mutable quality and cardinal quality so fixed quality is like they can't really adapt to things they can't really it's kind of hard for, for them to like to skew off and try new things because they're so set in their ways they only try new things when they want to. So signs with fixed quality is Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. Then you have mutable sign. Mutable signs, uh, or mutable quality is, you can easily adapt to it, to whatever. Um, they tend to be all over the place. Uh, there is no plan. They kind of just wing everything they do. Um, so signs with a mutable quality is Gemini, Pisces, Virgo, and Sagittarius. Then you have cardinal. Cardinal um, quality is you're all about action, hard work, no fun, you know. So signs with cardinal quality is Capricorn, I'm trying to remember, Capricorn, Aries, Libra, and Cancer. So you're all about hard work and Capricorns in general are all about hard work. So the best example I can use to like really get you to understand when you write a paper you have three copies that you gotta write you got the rough draft the second draft and the final draft The rough draft will be the mutable quality because you're jotting down things and you don't know what you're writing about yet you're just jotting down ideas and you get to pick what you want to do then the second draft will be the fixed quality because you already know what you're going to write about and now you just got to write it okay and then the final dra draft will be the cardinal because the cardinal is going to make sure that you put that hard work in so you can get an a on the paper or whatever it is that you're doing so hope that kind of helps you understand um so it's planet capricorn's ruler is saturn saturn is the planet of discipline 
and hard work. It's polar opposite is cancer. They say you're supposed to marry your polar opposite. I don't know how true that is. It could apply. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. It could apply with Capricorn. I don't know. Um, and yeah, like I was saying, Capricorns are very disciplined. They're goal-oriented people. They are all about that sh money. <laughs> Um, but they're all about their business and they don't like their business in the streets if it ain't making them money they don't like it people to know their business and that's just period they are they they can be very seem like they're very cold and distant at times and emotionless they have like this loner this loner trait like it's like they it's like Capricorns don't need a team to back them like they don't need like like not saying that they they can't make friends they can make friends but it's like they don't need friends they don't need a team they don't if 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 Capricorn gets into a fight Capricorn Cap Capricorn doesn't need anybody to back them up they're gonna fight alone the only time Capricorn would get somebody to back them up is if it's, if it's uh, an unfair fight you know what I mean so Capricorns tend to have they can they can stay on their own two feet um, the downside to being a Capricorn is they can be discreet. And sometimes that may be negative. Especially when it comes to love, they can be discreet. That may not apply to you because you're always showing off your partner on Instagram. So that may not apply to you. But they tend to not show off their partners. They, they don't. If they show their partners, that means they must really love that person. And then the minute, the minute they break up, it's like, who is that person? I don't know you, you know. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you remember Flavor of Love Oh, I Love New York, but Tiffany Pollard, aka New York, she's a Capricorn. Perfect example for a Capricorn. She came there for Flav, only for Flav. She was there to only get Flav. She didn't have any friends. She didn't want any friends. She didn't need any friends. She, in fact, she stated on the show, I don't need friends. And she always stood on her own. She always stood on, on her own two feet. And that's what I admire about Miss Tiffany Pollard. I love her. That's my favorite Capricorn. I love her. Okay, so your moon is Leo. Now, moon represents your emotions and your intuition. So it's in Leo. Um, Leo is masculine. It's a fire sign. Um, its quality is fixed. And I kind of explain what fixed is. Um, its planet is the sun, and its polar opposite is Aquarius. Now, its planet is the sun. What does the sun do? Give you light, right? Get you light, light, and give you life. Leo is the life of the party. Leo lights up the room. Leo is the sun. You know, that's the best way I can describe Leo. Leos are confident. They're bold. Um, when it comes to emotions, Leos are very passionate. Very, they can bring the emotions and the passion out of anyone, even someone who has trouble showing their emotions. And you're not afraid to show it because your your moon is in Leo. So if you feel some type of way, you're gonna let people know that, and you don't care what people think, you know. And they're very confident, you know. And sometimes when you know Leo can get kind of aggressive because it is a fire sign. And then two, think of the lion. What is the, I am the lion because that's that's the that's the that's the um, symbol for Leo. It's the lion. So what do lions do? They roar. So Leo, when they when they feel in some type of way, they want you to hear them roar. They want you to hear them and listen to them, you know, because they are the life of the party. It's all, well, I, I don't want to say it's all about Leo, but that's the attitude that they have. It's all about Leo. So when they're feeling some type of way, they're in that moment and you can't, if you take that moment away from Leo, because they love the spotlight. If you take, if somebody take, if you're emotional, right, let's say you're emotional, you're upset about something. If somebody tries to take that moment for you to just express yourself away from you you're gonna be heated and that's just how Leo is <laughs> um, so your mercury is Capricorn mercury is how we communicate so communication like I said Capricorn can be a bit distant when it comes to communication uh, they have no problems with communicating they just don't do it in public they rather do it in private because they don't want their business out on the street uh, I don't really know too much about Capricorn when it comes to communication. I just, I just, 
you know, they get the reputation that they're just distant at times and they can be emotionless at, 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 at times. In fact, that's like, if you look up Capricorn, like, as vines, like those type of videos, zodiac signs as vines, they always portray Capricorn to be emotionless, like they just don't care. So, not saying Capricorn doesn't communicate, but they have to do it in private and it has to be when they want to communicate. And if it's not helping their business, then they're, they're not going to communicate with you. You know, they want to, but just, you know, there's, there's a time and a place for everything. So, that's how Capricorn is. Now, your Venus is also Capricorn. Cap um, Venus is how we love and how we want to be loved. So, Capricorn, like I said, is goal-oriented, serious. So, they want a partner who's also serious and also goal-oriented. And who, you know, if you want a relationship with someone, you're going to take it seriously only if they take it seriously. Because people like to say Capricorns, they can't commit. It's not that they can't commit, they want to commit. It's just, we're not going to be out in public about it. That's it. Like, I mean, Capricorn will take you out. You know, you'll take your, your, you know, your girlfriend out on dates and stuff. But what y'all got going on, that's between y'all. You don't want nobody else in your business. Nobody else, unless you want people in your business. So Capricorn is one of those signs where it's just like, I'll do it, but as long as I want to do it type sign. As long as I'm cool with that. Because they really don't like for their business to be out there. And like I said, they don't want a partner who's too silly. Silly meaning they're just, you know, they're not serious about anything. They're goofy. They're, they don't have any goals or anything. So you want somebody who's intelligent, who's smart. Same thing, duh. <laughs> you want someone who's intelligent, you want somebody who's goal-oriented, somebody who's serious, somebody who's talented, and who really uses their, you know, talents and put them to good use. You don't want anybody that's just sitting down all day, sitting on their ass all day, and eating pizza. That's not what you want. So, yeah. So your Mars is Aquarius. Air sign. <laughs> so it's a masculine sign. I just mentioned it's air. Uh, it's planet is Uranus. I find that to be funny because Aquarius is into a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's a fixed sign. It's polar is Leo. Aquariuses are very quirky and different and they're very, very, very intelligent. They are the most intelligent out of all the zodiac signs, at least the air zodiac signs. Um, so when it comes to work ethic, Aquarius just have a pretty good work ethic. They're focused. They're focused on whatever it is that they're doing. So their work ethic is amazing. They have a great work ethic. They're a fixed sign, so yeah, they have a great work ethic. Um, anger-wise, they love the Aquarius. Is, I'm sorry if you're Aquarius watching this, or if you have Aquarius in your chart, you love to start arguments, not even debates. You love to start arguments. Why? I don't know. Because maybe you just you just like to communicate? I don't know. <laughs> Not saying you like to start arguments, but y'all live for arguments. Y'all love arguments. Because I guess you like I guess what it is is because Aquarius is so smart. They like to prove people they like to like show how dumb people are. Like they like to just prove how how stupid you are. <laughs> So you're probably somebody when you argue, you just like, I'm waiting for you to say something stupid so I can clock you. Because that's what Aquarius does. Aquarius is intelligent. So they're like the smart asses of the Zodiac. Like they want to show how dumb you really are. That's why they start arguments. Because they know they're going to win. They win arguments. They win arguments. I don't care what you say. Aquarius is win arguments. Period. Don't argue with an Aquarius or somebody who has Aquarius in their chart. So you're probably someone that people do not want to argue with, with because you always win. And if you don't always win, I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, and I forgot to tell you what Mars represents. So Mars represents your work ethic, your anger, sex. Now, when I was looking up Aquarius and sex, this is why I was laughing about Uranus because y'all are into a lot of stuff Aquariuses are very they're into experimenting so they're down for literally anything and in fact not saying this is you but most Aquariuses I know or just somebody who has Aquarius in their birth chart somewhere they tend to swing both ways not saying you do 
but most of them are down for it that's what i'm saying so you're probably somebody who is literally now you probably do have limits because you are a capricorn so you probably do have limits but you're down for experimenting with toys and videos handcuffs i don't know <laughs> um and there's no emotional attachment with 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 aquarius like aquarius they 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 actually aquarius is have the reputation of not being sexual but really they are they just don't show it because they're so smart they only show it with people that they're comfortable with so it's kind of like scorpio except different because there's like there's no emotional attachment none so i mean it can be you can be emotionally attached to someone but that's not the case you most aquarius is you, you don't have to be just having fun experimenting things just having fun now your ascendant is in aries so aries is a masculine sign it's a fire sign um its quality is cardinal um its planet is mars i just explained what mars is um its polar opposite is libra and aries are very courageous people dude they are the leaders of the zodiac they are the firstborn of the zodiac so you have when you're expressing yourself you're like a leader you're not a follower you do what you want to do when you want to do it and you put your all into whatever you do so at your job you're probably the hardest worker work you're the hardest worker there and you should boast about it you should post about it especially if you if you did work your ass off you should so i can just say you are a capricorn who is a hard worker a, a capricorn who is courageous who's brave that's you so let's get into your masculine and your feminine so your masculine is six and your feminine is four so you're almost balanced you're almost balanced so you have your um what what it means like masculine your masculine energy just means physical active so and i know you're active because i see you play basketball you, 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 you work I don't know if your job is physical or not, but I see you work out and, and, and stuff like that. So you're physical, but you also have moments where you like to just sit down and just relax and just, you know, and, and, and spread love and things like that. Not saying if you have a lot of masculine energy, you can't spread love, but, you know, and you're probably more aggressive in situations than you are passive. But you do have moments where you can walk away from situations because your feminine is at four so your feminine energy is just mental it's mental and emotional and your masculine is physical so you're almost balanced now you kind of know where you need to work on you know and you're probably like well how can i get it balanced well just know you know there are situations where you can be aggressive and then there's situations where you can walk away there is a time and a place to be physical and there's a time and a place to not be physical and and that's that's you know, there's there's time and place when you need, to, you need to really think about a situation. And there's times when you don't have to think about it. Just do it, you know. That's how you, you, you balance yourself. You just got to know when to do things in certain situations. So that's your chart, Derek. Um, I hope this helps. I hope this resonates with you. If you have more questions, you can hit me up. Um, and yeah, my bad. I'm not finished with my outro. Um, but if you guys would like birth chart readings, my contact is down below my social media is down there my email is down there um this is the final week i will accept free readings so after i post the prices no more free readings until i announce free readings so but that's later on i will have a video talking about that so anyway i'll see you guys when i see you guys bye